Hello and welcome to part 3 of my video series on how we can interface Arduino and Python via Pi Serial. In this video, we're going to focus on error handling when we establish the serial connection. I noticed when I launched the program and quickly requested a data point, I'd miss the first one. But the points following it would be valid. This is unexpected and unusual behavior. Thinking back to the code in the serial.serial .serial function, there's a timeout parameter. And this is what was executed and explains why we missed the data point. We waited a second and then returned nothing. This is actually a good thing. Serial.serial .serial resets the Arduino upon being called. It establishes the serial communication port and the baud rate. So to request a point, we need to make sure that the Arduino is fully up and running before we ask for one. To demonstrate the usefulness of the timeout parameter in serial.serial, .serial, we can comment it out, removing it from execution. I'll run the code and quickly request a data point. Now we're stuck, waiting indefinitely, because there's no timeout. The timeout parameter is unlimited seconds if you don't specify. One way to easily see how long it takes for the Arduino to become initialized is to view the L LED on the board. By default, this tells you how long it takes for the board to initialize and the sketch to be uploaded. Let's take a look at it in real time. Slowing it down, we can see that it blinks a few times, goes low, and then goes high. And once the L LED is high, we're ready to collect our data point. The takeaway here is that before we can request data points, we have to allow the Arduino to initialize. A remedy to this issue is to add a fixed time delay before we can request data points. To add this functionality in, we simply need to use the time module. So we'll import it. We need to put the time delay in before the user is allowed to ask for a data point. We'll use time.sleep. We can add a time delay of 3 seconds just to be safe. This is one very quick and easy way to make sure we allow the Arduino board to initialize fully before requesting data points. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for future content. I'll put the links to the previous tutorials in this video as well if you missed anything.